in this problem electric field and magnetic field intensities are given this is e and h so e naught is given as 500 h naught the amplitude of h that is given by 1.1 then both are in phase omega t minus beta z omega t minus beta z so there is no uh, phase shift with between e and h so we can say that angle theta eta will be zero and modulus of eta will be a real number that is equal to modulus of eta that will be equal to e naught by h naught which is 500 divided by 1.1 so first we have calculated the value of eta and the value will be 454.54. So this is the magnitude of eta. Next you have to calculate mu r and epsilon r. So one option is v is equal to c divided by square root of mu r epsilon r. This is one equation. So based on that you can write here it is 0.5 c. So, 1 by 2 will be equal to 1 divided by square root of mu r epsilon r or mu r epsilon r will be equal to 4. This is one relation uh, that we can find out. And another one is, so this is one relation, so we have two variables. You need to have one more equation. This is the value of eta. So, it is 377 ohm or 120 pi. That is the value of eta naught. So eta naught into square root of mu r by epsilon r will be equal to eta value which is 454.54. So you will get another equation that is square root of mu r by epsilon r will be equal to 454.54 divided by 377 which is eta naught value. So this is the second equation from this you can find out mu r by epsilon r will be equal to 1.453. So now you have one equation this is second equation. So you can substitute this value in first equation and you can get the values of both because two variables and two equations. You will be getting mu r as 2.411 and epsilon r as 1.66. So you have these two values. Next what is to be calculated? Mu r, epsilon r and eta we calculated. Then beta and lambda. Okay. So what you know is here omega is given as 10 raised to 7. Omega is 10 raised to 7. So how to calculate v? v is equal to omega by beta. This is another relation. So, beta will be equal to omega by v. Omega is 10 raised to 7 and v is 0.5 c. That is 0 0.5 into 3 into 10 raised to 8. That will be equal to 1 by 5 into 3. That is 15. Or this value will be 0 0.066. So, this is the value of beta. And lambda will be 2 pi by beta or beta is 2 pi by lambda. Okay. So based on that, this value will be 2 pi divided by 0 0.066. And the lambda value will be 95.1998 meter. So you got all the values and learn all these main equations also. This is another question, a very simple question. So the data given are just have specified omega as 1 mega radians per second that is 10 raised to 6 radians per second and E naught is given. The amplitude of electric field is given as 250 volt per meter. Okay. So nothing specified. We can assume uh, free space. 
and frequency f is given by omega divided by 2 pi that is equal to 10 raised to 6 divided by 2 pi that is 10 divided by 2 pi into 10 raised to 5. So 10 divided by 2 pi, pi is 3.14. You will be getting 1.59 into 10 raised to 5 hertz. So F you got. Then you have to calculate wavelength. Wavelength lambda is equal to C by F. So again 3 into 10 raised to 8 divided by 1.59 into 10 raised to 5. Okay, so you are getting the value as 1885.7 meter. Okay, you will be getting like this. Third one is time period T. That is equal to 1 by F. That is again here. You can write it as 2 pi divided by 10 raised to 6. 2 pi, you know that it is 6.28, 3.14 into 2, 6.28 into 10 raised to minus 6, that is microseconds. So, you got time period also. Then amplitude of H, H0, you know that E0 divided by H0 is equal to eta. And free space, it will be 377 ohm or 120 pi. 120 pi is 377. This is valid for free space. If it is some other medium, how you will calculate? It will be square root of mu naught mu r divided by epsilon naught epsilon r. Square root of mu naught by epsilon naught is 377. So, this will be 377 or 120 pi into square root of mu r by epsilon r. Okay, so you know all these. So, here free space we are assuming. So, eta naught into, sorry, it will be E0 divided by eta0. So that will be E0 is 250. 250 divided by 120 pi or 250 divided by 377. That will be 0.6631. So these are the answers.